Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica J, and I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, why am I still single? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked because if you've been single for more than a year or if you've actually never been in a relationship and you're actively trying, Chances are there's a very deeper meaning behind it, which we're gonna get into today. And to make sure you never miss out on another woman you want or another opportunity to get to Pound Town, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here, right now. Okay, so I know it's really easy to be like, there aren't any good women out there. Or even, the Me Too movement says that I shouldn't have a penis, but I have one. Well, as much as I hate to say it, um, the problem isn't out there, the problem is in here. So I was at a conference recently and there was this gentleman who talked about being single for a very, very long time, um, a couple of years even. And I said to him, okay, you don't even have to tell me if I'm right or wrong, but I'm pretty sure you've been through something that has traumatized you enough that you don't find it safe to be in a relationship with a woman. Then I gave him some recommendations as to what he could do in order to take care of that thing that may or may not have traumatized him. And sure enough, he came up to me after the event and was like, you know what, something really crazy did happen. Um, I don't feel comfortable being with women. Um, which is probably why I freeze up all the time, which is probably why I haven't been with a woman in a couple of years. And the reason I knew this without him even having to tell me anything is because anytime I hear from any person, any client, um, any friend, anywhere that this person hasn't done X, Y, Z, in a couple of years, something tells me that their brain has rewired them from doing that thing because their brain has told them, hey, this doesn't feel right anymore. So I'm telling you right now, if you're still single and it's been a year or more, chances are your brain has wired itself to keep you from getting into a vulnerable, intimate, connected relationship with a woman. Maybe something awful happened in your last relationship where you were cheated on and you found out in a really awful way and maybe were humiliated in a way. Or maybe your last breakup was so fucking devastating that you can't bear the thought of going through that again. Or maybe you revealed something about yourself and she ended up leaving once you revealed this super vulnerable thing that you've never told anybody before. Either way, whatever it is, your body is physically keeping you from being connected with a woman. This means anytime you have the opportunity to actually have a relationship with a woman, your body physically shuts you down, whether consciously or subconsciously. It shuts you down to things like opening up and revealing stuff about yourself, maybe getting naked, being intimate, all things that come with no longer being single. This is why some guys are able to date around a lot, but then when push comes to shove, they're like, nah, I'm not really that into her anymore. Or why some guys always seem to go after the wrong girl. Again, it's your body's way of chasing something that it knows it won't really get because if you did get it we would be put in that position again and we don't want to be put in that position again that caused us to be traumatized in the first place now some of you might be sitting there thinking but Jessica I really do want a relationship listen a relationship an intimate close connected vulnerable raw genuine relationship is different from getting a fix a fix means you want a woman to take home or a fix means you want somebody to snuggle with things that we are all wired to want in our lives but again when push comes to shove your brain says wait a minute do we want to fix or do we want to go through that thing again that ruined our life exactly so if you are somebody who has been traumatized so to speak um, by another relationship or even by relationships with your parents, which could force you to not want to become intimate. Or maybe something happened where you endured abuse as a young child, maybe not even as a young child, um, in any form whatsoever, you're going to keep yourself from being naked and vulnerable with another human being. And like I said, it manifests in one of two ways. Uh, the first way is you become overly clingy and tend to go after women who don't want you. This is your body's way of attempting to get the fix, but also making sure you don't get hurt again. The exact opposite way it manifests is if you're like a ladies man, you got your shit together, you're swimming in the D left and right. But when it comes to really getting to know a woman or going down the relationship alley, your body's just like, wah, wah. 
no thanks. Again, you are getting the fix. However, you're not having to put yourself through the pain that you've already endured before. One thing I wanna make clear is that your brain is wired for survival and it doesn't know if a bad relationship or abuse is not necessarily gonna get you killed. Your brain just says, this is painful enough that we might die, so let's rewire ourselves to never go through this again. Which is why it's possible for you to remain alone and single for years and years and years. One thing I always recommend for guys who find themselves in this position where they have been single for years and years and years, but really ultimately do wanna make a change finally, is to go through something called EMDR. It physically rewires, uncreates those awful, limiting beliefs that you've had in yourself that keeps your body from moving forward and doing things you want, especially when it comes to intimate, vulnerable relationships. So if you find that you're getting to pound town all too often, but not partnership down, I'm definitely talking to you. And if you also find that you're not even making it to pound town or partnership town with anybody, I'm also talking to you too. Unfortunately, I can't link any resources in this video. So if you want to check the comments below, um, I'm going to put some resources down there for you. And if this is you and you're comfortable sharing your story, please don't hesitate to let us know and start a discussion in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this wasn't too real for you. And I'll see you guys next time.